There are new developments tonight out of the Indian River Juvenile Correctional Facility. Some leaders have been fired following a state investigation. Our Bree Buckley is here to break this down for us. Bree, good evening. Russ, good evening to you. I first reported on this facility back in October of last year after a corrections officer was brutally attacked on the job by one of the youth inmates. Then days later, a group of juveniles barricaded themselves inside. I'm still in touch with the correction officer's family. They tell me he's still on a long road to recovery and don't think these moves are addressing the real problem. There are new changes in leadership at the Indian River Juvenile Correctional Facility in Massillon. The Ohio Department of Youth Services announcing that Superintendent James Darnell and gang intervention specialist Sean Anders have been fired following an internal investigation. Those two and Deputy Superintendent Charles Wilson have been on administrative leave since September. The investigation report says former Superintendent Darnell was negligent in supervising administrative staff and was misusing his state cell phone. Similar findings for Deputy Superintendent Wilson, whose unclassified position was revoked. As for former gang intervention specialist Anders, the report says he was creating an unsafe condition for both staff and youth and misusing state equipment. The state says the investigation started after a number of youth inmates claimed the facility was a, quote, unsafe environment. But several staff members who didn't want to appear on camera for fear of losing their job tell us they feel unsafe and want to see new policy changes at the top of the ladder, calling for a new director. This comes after corrections officer David Upshaw was assaulted by one of the youth inmates last October. Days later, 12 youth inmates got out of their rooms and barricaded themselves in a building armed with makeshift weapons. In November, staff held a rally outside the facility calling for better working conditions. The state has since equipped certain staff members with body cameras and pepper spray. Charlie Ford will continue to be the facility's acting superintendent. We have the full 52-page report in this story on our website, WKYC.com. Russ. All right, Bree Buckley, thank you.